Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the reading for the 10th of July 2022 and moving forward from the week. Uh, we're working with the Messenger Animal Oracle. I am the artist and the author of this deck. <laughs> it's not yet for sale but we are working on it for it to be so and that will be awesome. I'll keep you updated. So the cards this week are the Pelican the dove and the snake. What does that mean for you? Well, the pelican this week, if you were drawn to the pelican, then there is this energy of uh, it's not time to go it alone. It's time to step into the community of souls around you and allow the abundance to awake. It's really important to not get caught up in destructive patterns of the past. So you may have tried something in the past and found that it just led you into um, misfortune and doubt. And that has sown seeds of like negative energy within that, you know, makes you hesitate before taking a leap of faith. But you're being shown at the moment with this card that uh, the pelican is like beautiful for teamwork and understanding that the souls around you are aligned to your higher purpose and truth. And so when you allow yourself to become with those souls, and it's just amazing things happen, that abundance and prosperity and all the things that you want in life. And it's not just, you know, monetary. It's on all levels. It's like suddenly your soul starts to sing and you're, you're listening to a new song, but you just, just want to replay over and over. <laughs> It's just beautiful. The spirit of the pelican is about just um, really just, yeah, teamwork, being open to receive, being open in that sense of I can do this and I'm okay, I'm good as I am and I really want to embrace opportunity and I know these souls are going to be right for me to do so. You're being encouraged to trust in what you feel and know because, yeah, this, this is about clarity and healing on so many levels that just allows you to excel in who you are and what you want to do. Okay, so the dove. Now, the dove is, it feels like if you've been drawn to the dove, there feels like there's a transition here of perhaps you've been working through things and now you're trying to step into a space of changing maybe mindsets, belief structures, of letting go of what has been and just really blocked any way forward because it limits the way you see things and do things you know if you don't believe you can then you really can't you, you've stopped and you've put a wall up before you've even taken a step forward so the dub is really allowing you to or I should say encouraging you to take mindfulness practice uh, so you know meditation walking grounding you know do what you love and let go of the internal chatter because when you let go then you allow yourself to be more free to shift into an expansion and that sense of peace and and hope can flourish that's that's beautiful but you know while you stay in that you know difficult energy then it's also really hard to understand the energy of vitality and expansion and growth you've um this seems really pivotal this week I, I really encourage you to I feel like I'm stuttering a lot but it, it's hard to understand it's it, it feels so transitional in everything it is it's almost like it's so deep within you that it's it's transformational for taking those next steps it's just so important to find that inner peace within that transition yeah, I think that nails it. Inner peace within that transition. Do what you need to do to allow and accept that shift and change within you. So, yeah, that's beautiful with the dove this week. Now, the snake <laughs> feels like a lot of focus and ambition and, again, transition, but in a very different way. It feels more aesthetic. 
in your stepping up and you're taking step-by-step action and in that step-by-step action you're truly finding passion purpose and clarity in that ongoing movement you're literally shedding old skins to move into a space of excelling and growing this is um, allowing the movement through the activation of the light codes the light codes are your soul's truth and within the love purity consciousness if you will those light codes are expanding and communicating and they're sending out all these messages that allows you it, it's like a beacon that's going to magnetize back the opportunities that are, are brilliant for your soul to embrace and heal into as you continue wanting to work with your own soul journey and expansion this snake is profound at this point so whatever you're doing keep doing it keep watching for that step-by-step action to really embrace and just take it with both hands because everything here is aligning you to succeed so the only thing that possibly blocks you is that mental looping or not believing it can be so like When you allow yourself to let go of the cynicism, then you're going to just shed those old skins and move on forward. You'll be grounded, you'll be safe, you'll be secure within the environment that you're stepping into. It's a great card. Okay, so the pelican, which is about community, the dove, which is about self and inner peace, and the snake, which is truly transformation and expansion brilliant cards this week i hope this resonates and i love to hear your thoughts comment below leave a like and i'll see you again next week bye for now